My name is Aaron Bala. I went to Humber for television writing and producing. I graduated in 2013, and my current title is network executive and screenwriter. This is my Humber story. I grew up in the second golden age of television. So, you know, you had all these great shows like The Sopranos, Breaking Bad, that were, you know, just redefining what television could be. And it's so inspiring, right? You see that and you're like, I want to be a part of this. I would say the moment when I felt like I was in the right place was, you know, getting to be around people that loved TV as much as I did. Uh, I had never met so many people that like understood, you know, the inner workings of television and like cared and this was our passion. And once, you know, you get around that many people, you realize like, oh, this is probably a great place that I should be at. So my first job after Humber was I worked on a little TV show called Satisfaction um, starring uh, Luke McFarlane. And uh, I actually worked in the social media department. I was a social media manager, which meant that like all of the behind the scenes videos and photos were coming through me. And it was a really, really great job to get like right out of school because I was using all of the same things that I had just learned at Humber. But the great thing about writing in Canada is, you know, we have so many different kinds of shows. We're always making different kinds of content. And, you know, I've been lucky enough to get to work on so many different shows. Um, Saving Hope, Private Eyes, Cardinal, uh, Jane, Lockdown, and you know, you get to really activate different parts of your brain depending on what you're working on. One of my favorite experiences was getting to be a, one of the showrunners of Lockdown. When I was in Humber, on my first day, we went around the room and the teacher asked, what do we want to be in this industry? And I said proudly, I want to be a showrunner. I knew that from day one, and Lockdown was my chance to finally get to be a showrunner. Um, and it was amazing getting to, you know, be one of the writers in charge and getting to help create what the story was and, you know, getting to oversee all the aspects. You know, I'm, I'm in charge of the writing, but I'm also there on set and I'm helping to pick what actors we're hiring. And that was really a dream come true for me from the day I started here at Humber. So I currently work at TVO Kids as a network executive, uh, which is a really cool job. I get to kind of help oversee all of their original uh, kids TV shows, um, you know, animated stuff, live action, unscripted, um, and I kind of get to have a hand in, you know, helping to, to bring all of those to life. Uh, and the other part of my job is I get to help find new shows for the channel and I'm getting to watch, you know, amazing kids content from all over the world, the UK, France, Australia, and, you know, we're trying to find, you know, what's great content that we can bring, you know, home that no one in, in Canada has ever seen before that, you know, we can show and get people excited. I've been nominated for two Canadian Screen Awards and we actually won in 2020 for Cardinal for Best Writing. Um, and that is really, you know, one of the peaks of my career. Some of the qualities that help make a project successful are, you know, uh, emotionality, you know, can you show really strong emotions on screen? Um, and, you know, is it new? Is it something I've never seen before that's exciting and fresh? And I'd also say the third thing is, you know, can you, can you surprise me? You know, I think I know where you're going and then you swerve and it's, we're going somewhere else. And I think those are the projects that really I keep coming back to over and over again. I'd say some of the biggest keys to success uh, in this industry that I've found is, you know, uh, making sure you're always writing. Uh, you know, you kind of have to keep feeding the beast. You got to keep putting content out there. But then the flip side of that is, you know, you have to get really meaningful criticism back. And, you know, that's about surrounding yourself with people that are going to give you the straight truth, are going to say, hey, this isn't working for me. Hey, you can do better. Um, and that's the kind of pushing that you need that's going to get you to where you want to be in your career. I would say mentorship is really important for me. Um, you know, I always tell myself I was a kid with a dream. I didn't know anyone in this industry. Humber was my first step into this, and I've been really blessed and grateful to get as far as I have. And I think it's really, really important to give back. A lot of the things that have propelled me to get where I am were people that, you know, were giving knowledge away for free. And I think that's equally important for me to just give the exact same knowledge that I have back to everyone else. Um, and I especially think that's important as like a BIPOC creator to help, uh, you know, bring other BIPOC writers and producers up the ladder because, you know, it's, it's a hard industry for everyone and I think it can be really hard for BIPOC uh, creatives. And, you know, I think that's really kind of the burden that, that's on us to make sure that the road is easier for the next generation. I'm Aaron Bala and I'm a proud Humber grad.